be sure to check out my latest videos. One of my latest videos is Movies in the Dungeon. Another one is Comics in the Dungeon. You also have Superman Movie Masters. And you also have The Dungeon Part 2. You girls and guys be safe out there and I will catch you later. Had some refuel. Getting some breakfast. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up, comic book peeps? Welcome to another episode of Direct Edition, the channel is Fair Hall Direct Edition. And today, man, we're just going to look at some of the action figures I have down here in the dungeon. And we also have a new edition. Blind My Six Fingers Interactive Video. So, uh, let's look at what we got right back here. I think we lit it up, so it's a lot of brightness in it, so you can see everything. But uh, the first one is uh, Jean Grey, and it's from the Juggernaut Builder figure. I have the whole wave. Uh, this is one of comic book Windows favorite character. Uh, definitely not excited to see the Dark Phoenix movie. I didn't go to the theaters to see it because I knew it would suck. I knew that they weren't able to really handle the X-Men. The only X-Men movie that they did uh, really good was uh, Logan. Then the next one you have uh, Gwenpool with the lizard tail. I only have her out of that wave because I'm definitely I'm a big Gwenpool fan. Um, definitely love Gwenpool, always have, and just thought she was just a, a cool, cool, um, character. Next you have Angela, who is, uh, now Thor's sister. Um, I guess Marvel bought her from, uh, Image Comics. I have her first appearance, I have, uh, doubles of her first appearance. And I also have du doubles of this Marvel's Angela, because I'm such a huge fan. Uh, definitely, uh, geeked out and went, y'all, y'all ready? Uh, Leonard 17K and um, my brother, big big brother Rig, I went eight nuts and giggled like a dolphin when I saw her action figure. She actually comes with uh, Thanos' arm. I think that's Thanos' arm. Or that's his leg. That's his leg. Oh, no, it's not even Thanos. It's this uh, big cat from, uh, I, I guess this is their uh, cosmic wave. So the next one is Storm, and she comes with the Apocalypse Bust. And it's actually leaning to the side like that. It didn't fall over in the package. Uh, these used to be on the wall of the dungeon. But as I remodeled the dungeon, I took all of these down and uh, painted the walls. And now the dungeon is a lot more simpler. Instead of being so much so so complex and so much stuff on the wall. Uh, you're supposed to display your collection. Um, but I'm going to box up most of my collection because I, I, I can be a person that enjoys their collection uh, boxed up. I don't have to display all of it. And then here's uh, my baby. One of my favorite characters of all time. You guys know how I feel about Harley Quinn. And this is the Harley Quinn from the Batman Arkham Knight game. So definitely love this Harley Quinn. She comes with a couple guns, a couple hands. And uh, yeah, very awesome. So without further ado, let's see what we got new here in the dungeon. And here she is, El Combo Customs, one of my favorite channels. Uh, definitely would love for you to do a diorama for my channel. But here she is, Magic. Wow, I've definitely wanted this for a while. They just built a Walmart down the street from, I'm a Walmart, a Walgreens down the street from me. So she's a Walgreens exclusive. Man. I think Comic Book Window is going to actually try to talk me out of this one. Uh, but here's Magic and her bow-leggedness and all. And the crazy thing about this is is Samuel Trejo. You know I don't open my uh, I don't open my action figures. But I had to because one of her feet was like cricket like this way. So she looked absolutely ridiculous. So here's a cool look at Let's take a cool detailed look at her. Wow. Just... Awesome. I'm not like uh, Shardimus Prime where I can actually say, well, this part comes from this figure and this figure and this is a reused figure. I actually don't really give a damn um, about stuff like that because I'm, I'm deep into it, but I'm not that deep into it. The spikes. Look at the spikes on the arms. Look at her, uh, her blade. You got the Walgreens exclusive sticker, which makes it more valuable. You have the dragon, which I thought was Lockheed at first. You have the red, the red skull, but it's not necessarily red skull. You have the the works for her magic. 
that's her sword when it actually when it's uh freaking um in uh magic mode. Just such a powerful, powerful character. We're just gonna live turn her. Here's a cool look at the side. This is where I had to open up the package. You ready? You ready, comic book peeps? I know you guys are gonna be like, what the heck? But let's go. I don't really necessarily need to open her because you got you get all the glory right here. It's not like I'm gonna take her out and pose or anything. Here's the top, X-Men. Definitely have to get this wave. I've been slacking on getting my X-Men wave, but I've been more into getting the, um, I think the same image on this side. Yeah, same image. I love the spikes on the arm. I've been slacking on getting my X-Men waves because I'm not necessarily collecting Marvel Legends, and I don't want to overwhelm my collection. I don't want to be one of those type of people that have, like, this super, super huge collection that I could barely, you know, keep up with. I'm trying to keep my collection, like, exclusive. But I definitely need to go back, focus before that boy Dario gets on me. I definitely need to go back and um, collect uh, my X-Men waves. There's a bunch of them. There's probably like three of them that I don't have. So here's a very cool look at the back of it. Look at Magic and all her glory. I know if my daughter, oldest daughter, sees this, she's probably going to try to get it from me too. As well as comic book window. Marvel's Magic. The funny thing is, because it's a Walgreens exclusive, it doesn't show who's else in the wave with her. So I definitely need to look that up. So let's go ahead and read the synopsis. It says, A powerful mutant and sorcerer, sorcerer Ileana Rasputin wields the soul, uh, the soul sword and a weapon, craft from her, a weapon craft from her own soul. So basically, um, what happened was... Uh, in order for her to defeat this uh, big demon in Limbo, uh, Magic had to cast her soul into this sword, which made her a little bit less of a human. And uh, the funny thing is, Colossus still looks at her like it's her, like it's his little sister. Uh, but Ileana is absolutely a monster, but she's still a hero, which is very weird. You have to read the X Men in order to um, appreciate uh, what I just said. Alright, I didn't want to do it, but since it's already open. Last time I opened this, um, I just fixed her foot, but all her um, magic pieces fell out. Uh, no pun intended. But uh, let me pause right quick and uh, do this with two hands. Hold on, right quick. Okay, so I'm watching Beetlejuice too, which is very funny. I'm trying not to crack up while I'm doing this video, but here's a more detailed look at magic. And if I lean her any more... Um, closer to me, she's going to fall out, everything's going to fall out, but what I'm a big fan of, I'm a big fan of those spikes on the collar, uh, and that uh, kind of thing behind her, her head, like the, you know, big fan of those, I'm going to have to, if I ever take her out and display her, I will have to heat up this, uh, let me show you, I would have to heat up this side, and separate it like this side, but definitely, definitely, I'm geeking out over this. Um, definitely love magic. Look at look at that stance. How sexy is that? Look, I just straighten out her leg a little more. Straighten out this foot a little more. Okay. And there she is in all her glory. She's short. Short little, nice looking Russian girl. But uh, yeah, there she is. And so, once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Direct Edition. The channel is Fred Hall, Direct Edition. Remember, words of wisdom, focus on the ones that show you love. And on the ones that don't show you love, hey, we're just going to keep on without them. Sometimes you have to show people love, regardless of how many times they slap you in the face. But sometimes you have to trade an eye for an eye, a head for a head, and a tooth for a tooth. Just to let people know that, hey, you can't, you know, jack over me. But you girls and guys be safe out there, and I will catch you on the next video. Catch you later. Peace.